Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody has to let go Of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating and I feel no good Not living life like I know I could Like I know I could Like I know I should Like I know I could Like I know I could Like I could If you would show me If you would show me What is up y'all so i'm at this place um i just left at their store i found a hoodie let me show y'all it's just this hoodie it got pink written on here and it was four dollars it was only four dollars so now i'm at this um little tea shop I'll, i'm thinking about getting matcha yeah i think i'm gonna get the matcha i'm not really a matcha girl but I heard it has a lot of good benefits to it and I did drink matcha maybe like four times and I liked it for the most part but I do want to try like different places to see how the matcha tastes or whatever because the first the first time I ever had it was when Treasure used to get it from Starbucks then I had it from Joe on the Juice in Miami and then I had it from Duncan now Duncan's theirs tastes like I don't know. I think theirs is like really, really sweet. You can't really taste the matcha too much. So I'm like, let me try it somewhere else and see, see how it tastes or whatever. Depending on the vibes in here, I may sit inside or I may just get it to go. No, but I'm about to go in here right now. <laughs> Oh my God, y'all, so cute in here. Look at my little cookie. And I just getting in i've been outside all day but this was the, the sweatshirt i'm getting ready to throw it in the washing machine it's just a zip up i don't like putting this stuff on me before i wash it hey y'all it is sunday i'm getting ready to go back out this is our last day that we gotta go um visit my family so i i've been leaving out the house for like three days straight y'all but you can really tell that I haven't been here. Like, look at this trash overflowing. The living room jumpy. I'm like, so annoying. But I can't let that get me down because my outfit is cute. It's so cute, y'all. I'm like loving my outfit today. But it's like 50 something degrees here. And one thing about me, when it's time, I'm gonna wear these. But I wonder what is this? I don't know what this is on my Ugg. <sighs> I don't know y'all. Y'all know something that it could get like a oily stain out of Uggs that really, really work. Let me know. But I'm about to head out and I'm gonna show y'all my full outfit cause mama is looking cute. Okay, okay. Y'all remember this sweater. I got it from Marshalls like when it was so hot. 
And I just got on my all orange and my Uggs. Yes, I'm feeling cute. I'm feeling cute. Can I have four of each? I, I'm, oh, you're not. I'm still waiting on the customer. I'm just waiting oh, okay. to confirm this. Okay. So I can finish her. Um, All right. You know what? I'm going to get started. Eat, but then the gentleman, is he going? I'm going to just put this on hold. So y'all, I just left out the fabric store. I'm in the Germantown area of Philadelphia. It's heavy, heavy Islamic community. Germantown Masjid community. Um, I'm tr I was trying to go to a breakfast. Um, a breakfast store is called Sahaba Cafe, but when I rolled past there, it was nowhere to park. I should have knew it wasn't gonna be nowhere to park. So I just went to the fabric store. And I got this color. And I got navy blue. Because I got like one navy blue overgarment. But I had it for years. So I was like, I'm going to just get. Give me some new fabric. Both of those came up to $31. So I might have two garments for the price of $31. That's why I be telling girls. They better learn how to sell. Because in Philly like. Uh, it's so many seamstress in Philly, but they be charging like fifty dollars a garment, sixty dollars a garment. Some of them charge a hundred dollars a garment. And I'm like, I don't think I would be able to afford that. Now, in the stores, like the Muslim stores, the garments aren't that expensive, but they won't like. I guess they don't fit how people want them to fit or whatever. But. Mm -mm. I can't I can't pay no hundred dollars for no dress. <laughs> I'm not paying no hundred dollars for no dress, okay? But I'm about to ride back down there and see if I could find parking. If I can't find parking near that um that breakfast spot, I'ma just have to go somewhere else and and try to get me like some coffee or something like that. I don't know. So y'all, I wasn't able to find parking, but I stumbled upon this nice little gym in the Germantown section, y'all. When I tell you this coffee shop is everything that I have been looking for for so long. Like when I watch other girls' vlogs and I see them doing like the little cute coffee dates or the bookstore vlogs and stuff like that i'll be like yo that is so my vibe so when i saw this store i was like i'm gonna just go in here real quick now what i loved about it is that it is black owned but it was a variety of all different type of people in the store y'all it was just so nostalgic everything was so calm so peaceful in the store i ended up getting me some coffee and a baguette I hope that's how you say it because when I saw it at the counter, I was like, let me get one of these. To me, it was a donut. But when I told my aunt, I was like, I don't know what it was. It started with a B and she was like, a binget, a binget. And I was like, yeah, well, I got one of those or whatever. And it was so good. It was so like soft and everything. And I just sat there and I really vibed out by myself. I was able to read the rest of my book y'all know i've been struggling to get through that book for the longest i was reading that book for maybe like a month now and the book was really good it's just that with youtube and everything else that was going on i wasn't able to really get through the book but when i came in here y'all when i tell you it was so peaceful i will definitely be coming back here they had so many books for sale back there you know what i 
don't even know if the books was for sale or was they just back there for people to take out and read i don't even know because i had my own book so i didn't get that far into it i'm going to start exploring what i already have in philly i'm going to start taking advantage of everything that i have here right in front of me I'm really trying to break out of that feeling like I just have to move to experience new things. No, Philadelphia is so big and I know that there's so many places that I haven't explored yet. And it's up to me to just go ahead and try to find things that is suitable for my liking. Like that's pleasurable to me and things that I enjoy. A lot of the things in Philly that I call myself not liking is simply because I just don't enjoy those type of things. Things. but this spot it was so cultural i love it i will be back y'all i'm telling you i will be back here hopefully treasure come with me one day even though she probably be like no this is boring but i mean it was a cute spot for you to even just sit there on your ipad and just like have your coffee your donut and just chill y'all i'm telling you the vibes was super duper lit super duper lit my camera about to die y'all so we i just got home i picked jenna up she was with her dad but i just came back from my family house i ended up getting this bag y'all because i just i couldn't resist getting it it was just too cute and i could use it as my creator tote so like when i'm outside whatever i can't fit in my little small bags i could just always have this handy and carry this or whatever i think it's so cute and my cousin, my mom got treasure some Chinese apples, and my cousin brought us food from Outback. So I can't wait to eat that. That's bread, huh? Yeah. They brought us food from Outback. What you ate? Yes. How you ain't eat yet? You better be lying. Talking like about I ain't eat yet, y'all. It's seven. Is it seven forty-four? Cause y'all know time. I don't know. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this. But I'm home. Jenna's here, and I'm about to get ready to get comfortable so that I can eat my food and relax. I had such an eventful, beautiful weekend with my family. I'm so glad I was able to see my aunt three days in a row. This or this because apples. they live really far and I haven't seen her in a while. So while she was up here in Philly, I was able to see her, so that was good. But I'm gonna check back in with y'all. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna check back in with y'all tomorrow. I'm not sure. Is this an apple? This is Chinese apple. Pomegranate. Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to go outside. I just realized today is Thursday and I didn't I didn't record for this vlog all the way. The last time I recorded for this vlog was on Sunday. So I don't went from Sunday to Thursday and I I didn't record anything for this vlog, but um I was like making a couple of videos in between, but just when I made them, I just like went ahead and posted them or whatever. But I'm about to go out because as y'all can see like earlier, I had brewed fabric and I don't have not one sewing needle. Not one sewing needle. And I'm normally like stocked up with my sewing needles, but because I share it with my son, you know, it's like kids always take everything from you. So I'm like, I don't even, 
I don't even have time for it. He was cracking up when I told him. I was like, you used every needle that I had. He was like, I know I'm going to buy you some more. But he didn't buy me no more. So I'm getting ready to head out to Walmart because Target, they sold one stuff. Oh my gosh. If you sew, you know. That's decent. I just made that up. If you sew, you know. Target don't be having like no sew and stuff. Walmart is the place where you want to go at. If you're not going to like an actual Joann's or something like that, Walmart is the place to go for like your fabric and everything. So I just got one this pink overgarment and I'm wearing my Brooks sneakers and I got my tote bag that I just burned. Yeah, I'm so happy all my stuff to fit in this tote. I didn't wear a purse today and I'm not. I'm not wearing a purse because I'm just like running out. I really want to get those overgarments made because I just got the fabric just like sitting around. And that's something that I could be doing productive with my time or whatever. But that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to head on out, y'all. I'll talk to y'all in a little while. Y'all, look at this TV. 398. It's 70 inches, but it is oh, I guess it's O and N. I never heard of that brand. So I love Walmart's craft selection. I do. I love it. They have like the yarn and everything. They have fabrics here. I don't buy their fabric because it's a little pricey. Like I always go get my fabric. What's in my thing, bro? Oh. <laughs> just how you looking crazy i always get my fabric from um either joe mars or um gaffney fabric or it's a fabric store called halal textiles that i'll go to but they got like nice upholstery fabric upholstery fabric is like if you want to do your headboard over a chair you know like the pattern on the chair or something like that they got little nice fabrics for that. I like this one right here. They got all of these down here. Oh no, they got some cute, cute little stuff. I don't know. This look like shower curtain fabric or something. I don't know. So this is the selection I need to be in, y'all. I need some of these. Don't have none of these, and I had thousands of them. And I need these needles. I need these needles right here. So like if you sew, if you sew, when you pick in your needles, you need like needles that will work with stretch fabric. I like to get like ballpoint jersey knit needles. So you can see these right here. These are ballpoint jersey knit needles. They work so well when you sew. Like if you don't get these type of needles and you sew, your whole project just be like messed up. It be like skipping threads or whatever. So it's very important if you sew. If you if you sew and you may not notice, it's very important that you get the correct type of needles for the fabric that you're using. So I'm gonna get two of these. Y'all, I'm in Dollar Tree now. I knew they was changing things and starting to charge more for certain stuff. Let me just show y'all this. Let me show y'all this. Why do they got Briar's ice cream? Briar's ice cream. That's crazy. Like, I know they be having name brand stuff, but I never expected them to have Briar's ice cream. I'm trying to get a plunger from my kitchen sink because it's stopped up. And look where the plungers is at. How am I supposed to reach that? How am I supposed to reach that? 
Yo, I just came home. Oh my gosh. All I can say is when you from, all right, I'm from Philly. Y'all know I'm from Philly. So it's like whatever store I'm going to, I got that. I got like one particular store that I just like to go to all the time. And when I don't go to that store, I be like, oh my gosh, I be feeling like off or whatever. So when I go to Walmart, I go to the one further up the boulevard. When I go to Target, I go to one that's like on Cotman Avenue. But today, because I was dropping my son off, I went to this Walmart that was down like closer towards my old bay or whatever. And I never go to that Walmart. I was like, oh my gosh. I went to the Dollar Tree down there too. And I'm like, it just made me feel like I just wanted to come back home so bad. And I'm like, maybe it could be too that, um, like it's getting closer to the holidays. It's getting closer to like Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that. So it's going to start getting more and more congested. So I think I'm going to be doing most of my shopping online because I don't know what it is. Like, I be having like two normally I was telling y'all before in other videos I got a three store minimum today it was a two store minimum and I was like no I need to get back in the house plus I was like I got my little bit of vitamin D for the day because remember I told y'all y'all know my doctor's office just calling me back every since like that was like a month ago when I went and told y'all my high blood pressure about my high blood pressure or whatever and now they told me that I had vitamin D, but I had looked it up online and I was supposed to go to a doctor's appointment yesterday and I didn't go to the doctor's appointment. So they was like, you know, your vitamin D levels are extremely low and they sent a prescription over for me at Walgreens, but I ain't pick it up yet. But I'm like, dang, they just calling me back and that was a month ago or whatever. And I was like, I need to get back in this house. I don't know what I did to this sink, y'all. So yesterday i cooked salmon cheese steaks because the day before that when my husband he had went to the supermarket and he brought us like you know some like basic necessities and stuff like that and he brought some salmon and he must have thought i was gonna cook and it was like seven o'clock and i was like it's too late to be cooking or whatever so he ended up going to mcdonald's and when i tell y'all he was so annoyed he was like i'm tired of eating that you know what I was like, oh my gosh. So yesterday I cooked or whatever. I was like, this is so annoying. Like I hate cooking. Like I just don't, it's just not for me. So when I made the salmon, I went and I used my grill thing. But when I went to um, empty it out into the sink, now my sink is just like keep doing this. And it like keep getting stopped up. You see, like the water is not going down. So I was like, let me just go to the Dollar Tree or whatever and get me a small plunger. So I got the small plunger and I got my 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 sewing needles and everything like that. So my plan is to just sew. Now tomorrow is Friday. So I don't think I'm going to be able to sew over the weekend because... I like to do my sewing when I'm like just vibing out in the house by myself. I'm chilling. So, you know, Jenna, she coming tomorrow. So I don't think I'm going to sew this weekend. I think I'm going to sew when she go home. But I'm so glad that I got the needles and everything already for that. And um, I think I might try to do something different with like my posting schedule or whatever because a lot of times when I do my Walgreens haul for the week I want y'all to see the Walgreens haul before that Sunday is out so that if you do want to go and get the deals that I get I want you to still have time to get them so I may start posting on Fridays and see if you know the weekly vlog do good on Fridays and y'all able to still go to Walmart not Walmart Walgreens to get your order or whatever so, with that being said, I didn't do a Walgreens haul this week, but I know, I know for a fact I'm going to have to do a Walgreens haul next week, y'all. When I tell y'all, my husband did his laundry last night, his um, work clothes. He came upstairs. When I tell you, it smelled like nothing but downy. When I say 
and the, the clothes were dry it's not like they were still wet he was sitting there folding his work clothes up and the whole room was full of downy and i was like you used all my downy didn't you he was like, I, I didn't use downy. I used a green bottle. I'm like, no, you didn't. You used my downy. So I'm even scared to go down there to look at how much downy I got. I be trying to tell him, like, just use one cap. One cap is enough. And he said the other day when he went in the basement, him and Treasure was, like, racing towards the washing machine to get there first. And he said Treasure was just pouring the uh, laundry soap inside the washer. And she was like, I did i did do that and i was like oh my gosh this is why my laundry soap has gone down so much so i know i'm gonna have to do a walgreens haul this week and i'm gonna try to have it posted to where as though if i get some good laundry deals and y'all watch the video y'all could just hurry up and go and get the stuff before sunday because the deals always end on sundays like a new a new deal start on sundays so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My intentions for this video was to show you guys that it's a lot of places in Philly that is lit because I'm the one that's always complaining about Philly saying that, you know, we don't really have a lot of stuff here. Philly has stuff and I feel like that bookstore, that matcha shop, all of that stuff with me just, you know, doing my own thing on my own solo dates or whatever. I feel like it was so peaceful and relaxing. And we have the places here in Philly. All of Philly is not bad. But you just got to get up and go and look for it. You got to find what you're looking for. So... I hope I showed you some new things in Philly and I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. As always, until the next time, I love y'all. I'm so grateful for y'all who watch me and who support me. And until the next time, bye y'all.